Hey, this is Corey. Uh, I'm back with another installment of my Comcare introduction. Um, yeah, so I've been, I've been using my app for about a week now. Um, and one thing, I'm running into this problem with the data um, that I wanted to show, and then I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you um, some, some, some more features of Comcare. Um, so first, let me explain what the problem is. Um, so if you remember, I, I set up my uh, application so that uh, I have these activity cases. So the activities are, you know, like surfing, running, hiking, and then I have these event cases, which are, um, you know, each time I go doing one of those things. Um, and so I've named the event cases after, um, just after the dates. Um, and those are child cases of of the activities. So um, if you go into this related cases tab, I can see it's it's a child case of, of the surfing case. Um, but if I just look at this case, I've got the date, the duration, and the score, but I, I don't actually see um, sort of, you know, what, acti like if I'm just looking at this event, I can't see that this is actually a surfing case. Um, and I think that's be useful. So, so even though it's a little bit redundant, I'm going to show, I'm going to save, basically, I want to save the fact that this is a surfing case into my child case. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to go to my application. And I'm going to go into the form. So that, that was the new event form. That's where I'm creating those events. Um, and yeah, this is this is hopefully going to be pretty easy. So, so basically, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, what Comcare calls a hidden value. Um, and so, hidden values are basically just uh, just they won't be shown in the app, um, which is why they're called hidden values. But they're, they're a way you can save data. Um, so let's call this activity. Oh, that's calculate condition question ID activity name uh, I think Comcare I don't know what would happen if I left this blank actually um, but that's that's the value that it's that it's going to end up in in the form is the question ID um, so I can save that uh, and yeah so I want this activity name to be the name of the activity um, and so here you can see there's this app properties box down here um, and it's showing me the, the properties that I've saved um, on the activity. And I can just hopefully just grab this case name and drag it right into that calculate condition. And, and so what that's going to do is that's going to calculate uh, this activity name question, this hidden value, with the value of, of my case name. So I'm going to save that. Um, and now I can... I can uh, test whether this worked. I'm going to use this uh, this preview function again. Uh, I'm going to refresh my my app, and so I'm going to go into the new event form, and I'm going to go. And so you can see, first of all, so this activity name does not show up anywhere here. That's intentional. Um, that's because we made it a hidden value. Um, I can put in a date. I can put in a duration. Um, so how do we see whether this is working or not? Well, you know, one thing we could do is we could submit the form um, and then look at the data in the submit history report. Um, but the easier thing to do is to actually use this um, data preview function. Um, so this is uh, this is a cool little uh, power user feature, I would say. Um, but basically, this little box down here, you click it, and it will show you um, a preview of all the data in your form. Um, and so here you can see the stuff that I've entered. We've got the event date and the event duration. And then you can see this hidden values section um, is now showing the activity name. And so the activity there is running. So that looks good. Um, so it seems like this is working. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rate this run a 7 and submit the form. Um, so we've got the data in the form. That, that uh, will not save it to the case uh, yet. Um, but to do that is is quite simple as well. Um, I'm going to go to this manage case section. We'll just wait for that to load. Um, 
And now uh, under the child case section, uh, this is where I'm creating my new events. Um, I'm going to grab, so now you can see this hidden uh, activity name has, has come up. And yeah, I'm gonna save it to the activity name case property. Um, so that sounds good. I will just go ahead and save those changes. Um, and now let's try that one more time. So refresh the app, go in, new events. Let's do, I haven't done any hiking yet. Um, so uh, 180 minutes. Cool. So now we can see if that worked. So I'm gonna go, uh, sorry, to reports and to my case list report. I'm gonna open that in a new tab. And go ahead and click apply. So yeah, so I'm guessing it's this one that was modified at the same time as the hiking case. So I'm gonna open that up in a new tab. Um, and yeah, so now we've got activity name hiking right here in the case. Um, yeah, cool. So that is uh, saving parent case properties to a child case, uh, as well as a uh, quick tour of some of the data preview features.